nuts. It ain't a hospital, it's a training facility. It's just therapy with the horse, that's all. Yeah. So, uh, what's, uh, what's wrong with this kid anyway? She's physically challenged. <laughs> right. Challenged? That's what they call it. Everybody's challenged. Mentally challenged, physically challenged, emotionally challenged. I got 35 stalls to clean, and now I got a babysitter cripple, right? Tell you who's challenged. Me. I'm challenged. You'll never, ever know she's here, Goff, okay? I promise. Yeah, right. I'll bet. Kid can't walk, and she's gonna ride dressage. I don't like it. It's like a bad movie. It's just therapy, Goff. I ran it by Uncle Bill. He said... Your Uncle Bill ain't here every day. That's what he pays me for. He's got businesses to run. But me, these horses are like my kids. It's what I do. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Goff, I promise I'll take full responsibility, all right? One slip, Casey. One stall left unlatched, one saddle out of place. I'll shut it down. You understand me? Thanks, Goff. You're the best. All right. Monica? Yeah, Riley? Hey, can I get going? I'm gonna be late for class. Tell you what, you take Ralph his cheesecake, then you can get going. You think he'd notice if I took a bite? I think he might. It's empty. All right, well, I gotta go. See you, Monica. Thanks. Here you go, Ralph. Bless you. Thank you. Could I get a little bit more whip? Green? less water to cut, the erosive ability of the Colorado River was greatly reduced. Uh, mass wasting processes thus began to become re relatively more important than they were before. Uh, steeper cliffs further widening the Grand Canyon and its tributary seat. Continue, Brandon. Okay. On average, reach the Colorado River, the smaller side canyons must excavate the larger canyons. Uh, 
Uh, that's about it. Miss Adams. R Riley Adams. State your topic. I'm going to discuss how the sudden appearance of life forms in the geologic strata coincide perfectly with the projected time frame of the Great Flood. Let me guess, Miss Adams. Noah's flood? Right. The Great Flood. The biggie. Here we go again. All right, Riley, you have five minutes. What are sedimentary layers? Sedimentary yep, that's me. Riley Adams, college sophomore, devoted daughter, dancer. Chronically late. Are because of over millions of years. Bible thumper. has actually been proven in laboratories only under three conditions. That's Aaliyah Adams. Yeah, Aaliyah Adams. What are the odds of that? Both 19 years old, both dancers, same last name, and no relation whatsoever. She's hated me since grade school, and she's never late. Living proof that God has a sense of humor. Why not a worldwide flood? Well, that's all we have time for today. We'll finish the presentations next Wednesday. Expect a quiz Monday over pages 87 through 123. Oh, and uh, pick up a copy of your term paper assignments on the way out. Tomorrow, you dance in front of one of the premier judges on this planet. And believe you me, Dimitri Stone will not cut you any slack. Now it's going to take energy, passion, and focus. Little girl, how long you been dancing? Eight years. Eight years. Some of you 10, 11 years. Some of you dream of making dance your career. And you can. I have. But do you want to teach dance? Or do you want to dance? This is it. You get one shot, one shot at something that you've worked for more than half your natural lives. Do you want it? Do you want it? Yes. All right, that's what I wanted to hear. Hey, sorry I'm late, Lexus. Just find your spot, Riley. So, are you and Brandon going steady now? He's quite the catch. Riley, you have a boyfriend that is so cute. Are we good? We're good. Okay. Group hip hop from the top.
All right. I like what I see. That's it. Everybody back here, six sharp. Except for Riley and Aaliyah. Riley, don't forget to bring a picture of your boyfriend tomorrow. Lily, I... You two are my soloists this year. I expect you to show leadership and give it everything you've got. You're first. Show me what you got. Not too bad. Leah, you're up. Looking hungry, looking sharp, I like it. How do you both feel? Ready to take first. You? Pretty good, I think I could do better though. You're in front of Dimitri Stone, 80% won't cut it. This is gonna feel more like a final exam than a recital. There's no cheering audience to feed off of, it's just you and the judges. So you really think you can give me more? All right, let's run it again. Leah, I'll see you tomorrow. Break a leg. Thanks. Take your position. Ready to go?
<laughs> what was that? It must have been a wet spot. Where's it hurt? Hamstring. I don't think it's bad, though. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I stat tonight. I want to make sure you're ready to win tomorrow. In your dreams. Hey, looking good. So you're gonna be okay for your recital? Dad, it's not a recital. It's the regional qualifier. Right, that, that's what I meant. Sounds exciting. Did you want cheese? No. So, am I going? Nah, you'd be bored. It's like a private review, just you and the judge. Well, that sounds, uh, well, you're probably right. Sounds boring. <laughs> yeah, and the judge, he's like the toughest big shot. He's, he's like the Simon Cowell of dance. And you say you're doing this voluntarily? Dad, if I win this, I'm one step away from being a professional dancer. Well, it sounds like I'm one step away from empty nest syndrome. Thank you. Uh... Sorry. Father, thank you for this food. And thanks for sending Jesus, your son, to die so that we can be forgiven for all that we do that offends you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And thank you for the stuff you teach us through your word. Double amen. <laughs> so, what have you been reading exactly? Pray for your enemies. Ooh, that's a toughie. Mm -hmm. Any enemy in particular? You have to ask? Oh, oh yeah. Well, you just keep praying for Aaliyah. You have no idea what God's doing behind the scenes. I've been praying for Aaliyah since grade school. God needs to get busy. <laughs> Honey, it took Abraham years before he saw the promised son. Oh, don't forget about Noah. You would bring that up. Hey, um, I think I'm gonna head to bed. I'm tired. Well, honey, we just sat down. Yeah, I know, but I have to be up really, really early. You're okay. I'm sorry. Good night. Good night, Squirt. Love you. Love you. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. If you love those who love you, what reward do you have? <sighs> Lord, I just want to pray for Elia. She really needs you in her life, Lord. Forgive her for what she did today. And help me not to hold it against her. Just... Catch me up, Lord. Help me do my best tomorrow. Okay, let's head out. Where's Riley? Oh, she's late again. Lily, honey, will you call her? She probably chickened out. Hey, 
Are you almost here? Everyone is loading up right now. What? And I think Lexus is getting a little testy. PM? Are you kidding me? Riley, you better get here quick. Good luck, Riley. Riley, where are you? Lexus, I'm an idiot. Ugh. I set my alarm for PM. What do I do? Lily, get my clipboard, please. Are we going? They've given me nothing to go on. I have no way of knowing when you're gonna dance. Just meet us there. But get moving. Okay, thanks Lexus, I'm really sorry. What are you doing? Um, I was just gonna remind Riley to bring a picture of her boyfriend. Riley, good luck today. Dance for God's glory and give him your very best. I'll be praying for you. Remember, whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 10.31 Love you, squirt. Dad. Nicholas. Show me a picture of Brandon and then we'll talk jewelry. <laughs> Can I have everyone's attention, please? This is Ron Atwood, one of Mr. Stone's people. As you may be aware, Mr. Stone's flight was delayed. However, I just spoke with him and he will be arriving momentarily. We expect to be starting in just a few minutes. Who's the boss lady? Melinda Baldwin, event coordinator. You don't want to get on her bad side. Lucky for you, he was late. She's gonna need all the luck she can get today. That girl needs a serious attitude adjustment. Mr. Stone, such a privilege to have you today. Baldwin, I am delighted. I'm so sorry about the delay, but the bloody airlines. Oh, oh, I completely understand. Don't worry, dear. We'll keep things moving right along. Oh, shall we? Oh, of course, right this way. Of course. That's Dimitri Stone. He could be my dad. I think he's kind of hot. We'll be starting in about 10 minutes with group hip hop.
That was very nice. You may exit to the right. Can you do that? I, I didn't know stay cool. Shh. Lexus? Did you see that team from Muncie? I know, he cut their music before they even finished. Wow. Uh, maybe it was because they stunk? <sighs> All right, they're running behind schedule, so they want to ramp it up. Senior solo division is next. Riley, release. Just do what you were born to do. Aaliyah, focus on performance. Make him want to see you dance. This is your day, girls. It's an audience of one. All dancers in the senior solo division, follow me. That's fine, Miss Hamilton. You may leave the stage. Exit to the right, please. Riley Adams. You may proceed. Thank you, Miss Adams. You may leave the stage. What just happened? Not sure. Kelly Owen. What happened? Honey, I don't know. I was going fine. That makes no sense. Shh. No, I don't need you to quiet down or exit the staging area. Okay, fine. Come on, honey. Let's go. Let's step out a minute. Tough break. You still have to get through your dance, Aaliyah. I just don't get it. I don't know, Riley. He must have seen something we couldn't see. <laughs> Riley, I want to ask you something. Did you dance for an audience of one? Yeah, I did just what you I said. don't and... mean Dimitri Stone. Everything happens for a reason, and we'll figure this out later. But right now, we need to rise above this and do the right thing. And Leah wants this just as much as you do. So we need to go support her, whether she deserves it or not. Aaliyah Adams. You may proceed.
That was fine, Miss Adams. You may exit the stage. Great job, Aaliyah. If you could wait in the staging area, we'll call you back with the results. Aaliyah, you look great. Yeah, I know. I've got a feeling that attitude adjustment is coming really soon. Not soon enough for me. No, good job. Looks like it's just not your day, Riley. Good thing Daddy wasn't here to see it. What? Well, Riley, honey, look at her. No, Alexis, she is really good, and I just got scratched. Why does she have to act this way? Riley. What? There's more to this than dancing. Aaliyah doesn't have what you have. In here. Participants in the senior solo division, please return to the auditorium at this time. Would all competitors in the senior solo division please find your places on the stage? We will be announcing our top three finishers. The top two will compete in our national championship in Orlando, Florida in eight weeks. Third place will serve as an alternate in the event that any of the top two cannot compete. Mr. Stone? Thank you, Mr. Atwood. As you all know, merely standing here places you among the nation's elite dancers. You've all represented your teams and your schools splendidly. I salute you all. Hey, good luck. In third place, with a score of 92.6, and invited to serve as alternate in the national finals, Aaliyah Adams. Aaliyah. Excellent job, Aaliyah. In second place, with an even 94 points, Brooke Hamilton. Now then, I'd like to make a brief apology, if I may. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, we've had to cut a few corners, haven't we? That said, I know a superlative performance when I see one. I'd like to direct this apology to our first place winner, who I can assure you all will certainly have the opportunity to perform her routine without interruption at our national finals in Orlando. With an outstanding 98.7 points, our first place winner, Riley Adams. I won? Believe it. Ugh, talk about ups and downs. It was sick. Oh, uh, hang on one second. Hey, my dad's calling me. Can I call you back? Okay, bye.
Well, Riley, you've had quite a month, haven't you? I think we're, uh, we're ready to send you home. Well, that's great. When can I start dancing? Look, Riley, I know how bad you want to start dancing again. Nationals are only a few weeks away. I need to get started training. R Riley, maybe sh we should hear what Doc has to say. Your dad's right. I want you to listen to me very carefully. You suffered from severe brain contusions. For a few days, you were in a medically induced coma. Your motor skills are coming back, but this could take a while. Honey, what Doc is saying is that we're going to have to be realistic. I don't care about what's re realistic. I care about what's possible. Okay, I agree. I think when you're filling up to it, you should dance again. But you need to understand, Riley, there's no shortcut. It's going to be like starting all over again. I can do it. <laughs> I know you can do it. You've been bullheaded since you were in diapers. I wonder, though. What? I spit it out, Doc. I was just thinking about something that's been effective for patients with cerebral palsy. You know, uh, permanent brain injuries, not like Riley. Just hear me out, okay? You want to get the fastest results you can, right? Okay. If you just work on dancing, you will get frustrated. You see, you have the type of brain injury that wants to just heal at its own pace. But if we help her develop new skills, it might just help move it along. Does that make any sense? What, what, what are we talking about? Equine therapy. What, what are we on? Horses? It'll help develop her coordination and strength. Get her out in the fresh air. I'll try anything. Well, it's, if it's okay with your dad. What? Well, she's an adult. Whatever you think's best. Well, I'll go ahead and make a call and I'll get back to you later today. No turning back now. You're sure you're ready for this? I'm ready. Can I help you? I'm Michael Adams. And this is Riley. She's here for her therapy. <clears throat> Name's Goff. Take care of most of the horses. Well, come on, we got some rules to go over. If it ain't yours, don't touch it. Upstairs, off limits. If you ain't got proper shoes, stay out of the barn. go this time. Don't let me catch you in the tack room. Tack room's off limits unless you got your own equipment. And you ain't got your own equipment. And never, and I mean never, Go into a stall, or heaven forbid, get on a horse without proper supervision. We clear? We're clear, Mr. Goff. Yeah. All right, then. I guess we understand each other. You can be back, pick her up at 4 o'clock sharp? Yes, uh, Mr. Mr. Goff. Just 
Goff. Oh, Goff. Um, could I have a word with Riley? Alone? Yeah, suit yourself. But make it quick. Ain't got all day. You're sure you're up to this? I mean, we could go to a different stable. No, we must have passed. No, Dad, I can do this. I've got to make nationals. But honey, I mean, it's just that he's he's such a tool. <laughs> no, I can handle it. Thank you, Brown. I've got to do this. Well, all right. Listen, I gotta work late. I got some catching up to do. I told Marge to pick you up here at four. Okay. All right. Four. All right. <laughs> Love you, sweetie. Love you too. Bye, Dad. Bye bye. Riley? Adams? Yeah. Hi. I'm Casey. Uh, Goff told me you were here. Riley. Adams. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Right. Sorry. I'm gonna be working with you. Oh. Goff? I thought... Yeah. N never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a ray of sunshine, isn't he? Yeah. Well, you'll get used to him. He's a good guy, but it's a little rough. Hey, Benji, come here. I want you to meet somebody. This is Benji. He helps me out around here. Hi, Benji. It's nice to meet you. Why do you talk like that? Hey, it's not polite. Oh, it's okay. Got a little knock on the head. Well, I've had a few of those before. Hey, uh, Benji, why don't you start watering down at that end over there? Can you sweep the aisle, too? Thanks, buddy. He's a little cutie. Yeah, he's a good kid. Uh, so, are you a... a horse trainer? No, no, not really, though. Goff is the horse trainer. I'm trained as a physical therapist. Been around horses all my life, and equine therapy kind of is a natural fit. Huh. I sometimes, um, volunteer with kids through my church, too, so... Ah, uh, so that's where... Benji's from. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. He, uh, he's had kind of a tough home life, so. So, is this the, the horse? Grace? Nah, she's my cousin's horse. I think she's a little too much for a beginner, but, uh, I don't know, you never know. If, if you ride as well as you can dance, anything's possible. She's beautiful. Yeah, she's quite a horse. She uh, had an injury a while back, so she's been on stall rest for a while. Now she just needs miles. Miles? Exercise. On the long line. Help build the strength back up. Goff says she's born to compete. Guess we've got something in common. That's what I hear. Yeah, she is beautiful. So, we should probably get to it, huh? Yeah. Hi. Hey, Benji, can you get the door, buddy? All right, now I'm going to grab your left leg, and we're going to push you up, and you're going to take your right and push it on the other side, okay? All right. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Now swing it over. Nice. Let's check here. Put foot in there. These boots feel funky. Well, that's all we got. Now, I know you've had some trouble with speech and sequencing, and that's totally normal for an injury like yours. OK, we'll keep it simple for now. Just focus on getting your coordination. All right. Now, if you want to go, 
all you have to do is give a little squeeze with your legs, okay? To stop, close your hand and relax. To go right, turn your body right, and to go left, do the same. For now, that's all you need to know. What I want you to do is to walk, stop, walk again, and turn left. Use your body, go to the left, and he'll go. That's it. And again, if you want to go, just squeeze those legs, stop, just close your hand, and relax, okay? Whoa. Excellent job. Really, really good. I can't believe this is your first time. You did really well on him today. You called that good? All right, well, maybe it wasn't a star performance. But getting a little tongue-tied does not change your passion and drive. And that is what's going to take you places. Uh, is this Grace? Yeah, here. You can pet her. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You really like her, huh? Yeah. She's like a, a dancer. Powerful, yet graceful. I'll tell you what. Maybe I can pull some strings and we can work with your next lesson. Really? <laughs> no promises, but I'll see what I can do. You know what? It's four o'clock. Your, uh, your ride's probably here. Come on, Grace. Bye. So, um, next Wednesday? Right. All right, uh, we'll go this way. You better just keep your mind on your work. <coughs> Riley? Is that you, Squirt? I, uh, felt guilty. Decided to call it a day, make you a nice dinner. Oh, that's nice. So, uh, how was the therapy session? It was fun. That golf guy didn't seem too fun. My therapist said I did really well. Well, he must have lightened up then. Hey, do you need help? Uh, sure. Yeah, um, you can make the salad. We are having a chaiseuan stir fry. This recipe goes back to the Ming Dynasty. The secret is in the peppercorns. You grind them just so. It's also about the scallions. Most people don't realize that if you blow the peppercorns, you can actually salvage the recipe if you can work magic with the scallions. Which is amazing, because you wouldn't think that the scallions would be such a big deal. But no, actually... Do. What? I, I... I don't remember how to do it. What's the big deal, honey? It's just a salad. Here, look. Take this. No, no. I, I don't. I, I don't want help. Look, it's, it's no big deal. You no, Dad. I, 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 I can do it. I feel like a freak. Riley. Riley. Honey, can we talk? Okay. Now, if you change your mind, I'll be downstairs burning the stir fry. 
Hey, Dad. Yeah. Why did God want this to happen to me? Riley, I don't know. I asked myself that same question a thousand times. Now, this life, it's pretty overrated. It's over in a flash, even if you live to be 90. But you're here. And I just have a feeling that he's doing a lot more than we could ever guess. All good. And besides, you gotta look at the bright side. You needed a break from Aaliyah. Got her on Grace. <laughs> Riley, you are a woman on a mission. Well, I gotta be if I'm gonna be ready to make nationals. Hey, you will be ready. I know you will. Come on, let's get her a drink. What's up with the Grinch? Goff? He doesn't cope with change too well. What do you mean? Uh, well, I think he's a little annoyed that we have you on Grace and not Dusty. Who knows? I mean, you never know what he's thinking. Well, she sure is a sweetie. You guys seem like you're made for each other. Well, I think she's done drinking. Let's go inside. Come on. Come on, Grace. Doing okay? Yeah. So, who's her owner? My uncle. He owns Grace, and Dusty, and a dozen other horses here. It's too much for my Uncle Bill to deal with. That's why he hired Goff as a full-time caretaker. Weird. I'd be here all the time if I had a place like this. Well, they got into horses for their daughter, my cousin. And it kind of spun out of control. She rides, but she's really not that into it. Actually, she's more of a dancer. Really? Well, what's her name? M maybe I know her. Well, here's another funny one for you. She has the same last name as you. Aaliyah? Riley? Aaliyah! Casey, what? How? Wait, you guys know each other? This is... Beyond ironic. Hey, you know what? You should hang around. You should watch her. She's doing great. That's okay. I actually have to be somewhere. Always an attitude. I'm familiar with that. Well, hey, if you want to get to the top, you better get to work. All right. Come on. Both feet in the stirrups? Yep. Let's go.
Oh, hey, Dad. You're here early. Doc asked about your progress, so I thought I'd stop by and see for myself. Oh, um, Dad, this is K Casey. He's my, my, my therapist. Casey? Mr. Adams, nice to meet you. Hey, you know what? It's almost four, so we can wrap for the day. What? That's your therapist. That's not a therapist, honey. That's a, uh, that's, that's a guy. You're the one who said that God's doing a lot m more than we could ever guess. Yeah, but, but, but I didn't mean. For... That's not a therapist. Never guess who showed up at the barn today. Casey, I think it's great that we can use the horses to expand your professional opportunities. I'm just a little concerned. That's all. Uncle Bill, I thought we went over this. What did Aaliyah say? Aaliyah had nothing to do with this, Casey. I just don't think you should have that girl on Grace, that's all. Uncle Bill, she's a natural, okay? And you know I would never do anything to put Riley in danger. It ain't the danger. It's a liability. Something goes wrong, Mr. Adams here gets sued. And I'm out of a job. Golf, look, I value your opinion. But Casey here has been on my horses since he's been in diapers. But the girl hasn't. If he says that Grace is the right horse to use, well, that's good enough for me. Casey, you just make sure she follows all the rules, all right? I'm there, Uncle Bill. But, sir, I'm just not sure this Golf, is Golf, a... I've heard enough. Now, you two boys work this thing out. In the meantime, I'll have my attorney check into our exposure. I don't think it's a big deal. Now, gentlemen, my tea time awaits. I swear, she breaks just one rule. That's it. I'll shut her down. Copy. You don't have to worry. I'll take care of you. Right? Yeah, I'll bet you will. Well, I can definitely see improvement. But I want to keep you on the equine therapy for a few more weeks. What about dancing? Can I start training with the team again? <laughs> well, that's really up to your coach, not me. But you know what? I don't see why not. Riley, uh, why don't you wait outside? Uh, I want to go over a few things with your dad. What aren't you telling us? Mike, the Lord has an amazing plan for her life. But not as a dancer. But she will make a full recovery, right? It's going to be a long road. What, what am I supposed to tell her? My advice? I think she'll figure it out soon enough. Just keep her busy with the horses. She needs to develop new interests. I'm praying for you, Mike. Casey, guess what?
snack? Hmm, I bet you're hungry, huh? What are you doing? Here, I'll get you some. What do you think you're doing? I, w I was just gonna tack up Grace. No, you're not. What did I tell you the first day? You do not go into a stall without supervision. I, I, I forgot. I'm sorry. I told him this would be trouble. Well, that was short-lived. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, Benji. You are so in trouble. You heard what I said. Riley, Goff just told me what happened. I know, I, I'm sorry. I, I just forgot. You could have gotten hurt. I know, it won't happen again. Pinky promise. All right, just be careful next time, please. Goff's got to run a tight ship here. Oh, I have good news. Yeah, what's that? Doc says I get to start dancing again. So you know what that means. Nationals. Nationals. Can you believe it? Congratulations. You and Aaliyah both. That's incredible. Wait. Aaliyah? Yeah, it's like the big family news. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Casey, don't you realize what that means? It means she's not going, Casey. Didn't Alexis tell you? What? No, she wouldn't do that. Oh, please, Riley. You know how this works. I placed third, which makes me runner-up. Besides, we all know you're not going to be up for it. Yeah. Yeah, everyone but me. Riley. Aaliyah, do you ever think about anybody other than yourself? What is that supposed to mean? Do you know how hard it is for her? To work so hard and get one setback after another? Yeah, Casey. As a matter of fact, I do. I've been coming in second to her since I was eight years old. That's not her fault. And it's not my fault she got hurt. I never said that it was. You want me to feel guilty? Fine. I feel guilty, all right? She had to find out sometime. Dad, I need you to take me to dance. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'll just meet you in the car.
in here. Where are you going? I don't know. Home, I guess. On foot. What? Well, I can't take her. I haven't passed my driving test yet. How did you get home? I thought I was picking you up in an hour. You know what Riley's going through right now. Hey, where are you now? Wanna climb again, but you just don't know how. Here, deep inside, no way out, but running against the tide.
time you stand, you get knocked down. Here, deep inside, feel betrayed by all your foolish pride. You're weary and you don't want to fight no more. You gotta let go. back and hit it hard. Keep it rolling, guys. Back in a minute. Hi, Riley. It's so good to see you. How are you, honey? Um, I've been better. Riley, I'm so sorry. I know how hard you've been working to get back. But, girl, you have to move forward. Yeah, I know. I just, um, I wish I could have heard it from you. I guess I really blew it, didn't I? You could say that God's teaching me some hard lessons right now. I know he has. I know he has. <sighs> um, I guess I just, I, I came to tell you that, um, I understand and I'm glad you're doing what's best for the team, you know. Hang on a second. I know you're going to be back. I'm not so sure, Lex. Well, I am. You listen. Here's my cell. If you need to talk, get a latte, whatever, you give me a call. You never give your cell to anyone. Well, you're not just anyone. You're Riley Adams. And around here, that means something. Thank you. Gotta get back in there. Time to kick some booty. <laughs> you wanna come in and say hey? No, it's okay. Um, can I actually talk to Aaliyah for a minute? Sure. Yeah. Kick butt at nationals, okay? I know you can do it. Do it for me, okay? Letting go of my dream to dance was hard, but I felt sure that I had done the right thing. And I had a feeling something good was around the corner. Okay, Riley, we can get you doing a solid walk, trot, and canter by October and get you in at least two shows. Are you up for it? Yeah, I'm up for it. Riley, you have talent and, and drive and a great attitude. I think, I think you and Grace are going to be a, a great team. I need to speak with you in the tap room. You heard what your uncle said. She slipped up once. Goff, it happens. Come on. She broke the rules. She went into a stall to, to pet a horse. Uh, Grace ain't just a horse. I know. She's she's the horse, okay? She's the horse who needs a lot, lot of miles, right? With, with a, a student who's not going to push and pull and, and do all that stuff that you hate. You should be out there instructing her. I ain't got time to train no cripple. You've got to be kidding. Her challenges are temporary. There's nothing to
Oh, hey, Benji. Hey. Just stay busy. What? That's what I do when my parents fight. Just stay busy so you don't think about it. And you're still just hung up on, on her going to a stall to pet a horse. You know, people do that all when the time. When I was 26, I had a student. Went into a stall, just like her, going to pet a horse. Well, the horse spooked. I had to bury the kid. I'm sorry, cop. I, I didn't know that happened. Yeah, well, it's because it didn't. I had to say something to shut you up. <laughs> Cough. Okay, does this mean that you're gonna help me or what? Go call your girl, tell her to get out to the arena, you twerp. And tack up, Grace. The indoor arena. If we're gonna do this thing, let's make it safe. Do I really have to wear these? Yeah, you better get used to them. Shoulder, elbow, hips, heel. All right? You can't force a 1,500-pound animal. You're religious, right? Yeah. All right, well, it's like this. You can either line up with God, or you can fight with God. Now, what you think's better? Lining up? That's right. Force is the same way. Wow, that was deep. Yeah, it gets that way sometimes. You gotta find a uh, box to put all your stuff in. Right. Don't put your name on it. Want to move with the horse. Everything is possible. Oh. Jesus by your side. Spread your wings and try. Y'all, I was dead wrong. Tell him, Ed. Like Bill said, you're in a very precarious position in the event of any kind of an accident. If that girl gets hurt, well, we could wind up in a world of hurt. You could even be named in a lawsuit. Bill's family is completely liable for anything that happens with those horses. Bill, we had her sign a waiver. With all due respect, Mr. Goff. Just the... Goff. With all due respect, Goff, your waiver offers no legal protection at all. Courts will chew up a waiver like that and spit it back out. Isn't that what the horse barn liability law is for? It's clearly posted. But that pertains to an individual using their own animal on the farm property. Meaning, if it's on our horses, well, that posting don't mean a thing. What is it, honey? We're in a meeting here. I put Dusty out, so I'm going to take off. 
All right. Riley and Grace, they're a team. Well, you've got a problem then. If she's on my horse, then I'm on the hook. Listen, I don't know this gal's daddy, and a lawsuit is one more headache that I do not have time for. I cannot take unnecessary chances. At the very least, that girl's got to get a horse of her own. And until that time, I'm shutting it down. I'll let Casey know. Hello? Hey, Riley? Oh, hey, Casey. Hey, um... Listen, are you, uh... Are you free tonight by any chance? Sure. Why? What's up? Well, um, there were a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you about. About us. Oh, okay. What time? Um, let's say, say about seven. If I pick you up? Sure. Seven's good. I'll see you then. Okay. See you then. Riley? Is everything all right? Dad, you can't freak out. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're freaked out enough for both of us. I'm going on a date. Good. Come help me. What's that stuff? TG Catwalk. All I use. You're gonna slay him. <laughs> oh, I gotta get scared, so he'll be here in a few minutes. You call me and let me know how it goes, okay? <laughs> Thank you. See you later, Mr. Adams. Dad? Yes, Squirt. Daddy's here. Hey, 
Casey. Hey, Mr. Adams. I'm here to pick up Riley. <laughs> wow, you look great. I'm like way overdressed. No, no, you look no. great. No, I'll be right back. Good pizza. Yeah, it's really good. So, um, you said you wanted to talk about us. Oh yeah, um, that. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's about Grace. Um, what about her? Well, um, there are some liability issues. What's that mean? If you were to get hurt. Just say it. You're not going to be able to ride Grace anymore. What? What did I do? No, you didn't do anything. It's my Uncle Bill. If you were to get hurt, I mean, he would be in a tight position. You guys were making so much progress. Do you remember when you said that my, my d drive would take me somewhere? Well, lately, it just, it just seems like no matter how, how driven I am, I find out how, how little difference it makes. Riley, sometimes our ideas aren't God's ideas. You know, I'm in the same boat as you. Well, what do you mean? The career choices. You know, I mean, I'm getting hammered by med solutions. What's med solutions? Med solutions, it's a physical therapy company. They offered me this great job, and it's in Phoenix. I haven't committed to it yet, but it's a pretty tempting offer, if the whole equine therapy thing doesn't work out, you know? Doesn't work out? No, I, I, I didn't mean that how it sounded. Is that what I am to you? Just, just a, a stepping stone in your career path? No, Riley, no, that's, that's not it at all. Um, can you just um, t take, take me home? Been a little colder summer than I planned for, and the autumn held a pretty big surprise. Tell the truth, the kind that makes you close your eyes And pray the Lord would let it pass on by But I'm glad you called You always make me smile But I'm not so sure I'm gonna smile this time
Mr. Adams, um, is Riley home? I need to talk to her. Well, R Riley doesn't really want to talk to you right now. Please, Mr. Adams. Casey? Riley. Okay. We need to talk. Casey. Just hear me out, Riley. Okay? What is there to hear? Will you just listen? You brought her with you? Just listen, Riley. You know what, Riley? You need to stop assuming you know everything that's going on and listen. Aaliyah, wait a second. No! I've got something to say. And when I'm done, I will gladly leave. Ever since I've known you, you've been this Christian girl who never does anything wrong. God gave you more talent in your pinky than I could ever hope to have. And the worst thing is, you're so nice. It's disgusting. I can't find one stupid thing to criticize. And trust me, it's not for a lack of trying. But you know what, Riley Adams? You don't have a clue about what's really going on. At the very least, that girl's got to get a horse of her own. And until that time, I'm shutting it down. I'll let Casey know. What is it, honey? Can I talk to you about something? It's fine. I've got a call I need to make. Thanks, honey. What is it, honey? I'm on a bit of a time crunch here. You said if Goff or Casey train Riley on our horse, we're liable in the event of an accident? Yes, that's right. We're, we're liable if anyone uses our horses. So, if Grace wasn't our horse, we're not liable? Well, yes, that stands to reason, honey. But what's your point? Sign Grace over to Riley. Problem solved. She does have a point. You sure about this, honey? She needs a break, okay? I vouched for you, Riley. And you know why? Because you deserve it. That's why. People are watching. Grace is yours, Riley. Now do something with her.
beautiful out. I think uh, you're beautiful. show's coming up next weekend. Yeah, I know. You think I'm ready for it? You can do anything you put your mind to. Yeah, as long as you're there to help me. Well, actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. What? Goff. What, what about him? God's really using you in his life. You think? I know. You mean a lot to him. He's put a lot of heart into you, too. So, what are you getting at? I want to ask him to coach you at the show. Well, you'll still be there, right? Yeah, but I'm going to lay back. Let's let Goff take the reins, so to speak. OK, yeah, I think you're right. Ready for this? Casey! Yeah, I better be. You guys will do great. Hey, just remember, don't be nervous. Have fun. I will. Thank you, Promise. Well, hey, I still have to braid her mane, so... I'll let you get to it. See ya. I'll be watching. You better be. Hey Adams, break a leg. Well, despite all the encouragement, and through no fault of graces, I failed miserably for the first time in my life. I didn't even get a ribbon, but I didn't care. God had shown me that it was about so much more than winning. I had experienced a healing I didn't even know I needed, and my life was changed by the people I least expected. Goth. Casey, even Aaliyah, it's a wonderful life. and a beautiful Frisian mare named Grace. It's a wonderful life. But my story doesn't end there. Hey! What's going on? Well, I can't stay long, but... No. You won? Uh -huh. Oh my goodness! You go, girl! I knew you could do it. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. Oh jeez. Don't start. No, I'm serious, Riley. If anyone deserves this trophy, it's you. Oh, Aaliyah, you don't, you don't have to do that. Do what? Oh, I thought you were gonna try to give me the... <laughs> yeah, I like you, Riley, but not that much. 
Now that's the Aaliyah I know. Oh, and one other thing I should probably mention. Okay, now if you guys want to feed a treat to a horse, you want to hold your hand like this, flat like that. Do you remember that? Hey, you know what? We're out of time. Hey, who's going to come back tomorrow and help us feed the horses? Me! All right. Yep, Casey and I got married, and soon we were blessed with a beautiful baby girl. Okay, everyone, it's time to line up at the gate. Sometimes God's plans are different. Bye, you guys. Oh, speaking of feeding. Oh. oh, actually, can you hang on one second? Sure. But the Lord's plan is so much better. Casey and I started a ministry, using the horses to reach out to all kinds of kids. And as the opportunity arose, I tried to pass on a little bit of the encouragement others had given me along the way. Great job lining up, guys. You went really fast. How can I complain? The sun is shining just for me. Nothing can get in the way of me being all that I can be. Something I just can't resist You could say